What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is the part two of the top five cafes in Yangon. Follow me. Alright, so guys, this is Coffee Plus and uh, looking at the interior, this is more like a takeaway shop so we're just gonna take away and walk to uh, another coffee shop later on but yeah they are very popular for their classic coffee like, as you can see so we're gonna try that out and then yeah we're gonna judge the taste and all so they are kind of like using a different method to brew it's not like an espresso, uh, espresso shot so I have just ordered like a classic coffee which is around uh, $1.60 for a classic coffee pretty cool yeah Right here is classic black like like the name itself super black I'm gonna try it out this okay basically this tastes like a French French press for me quite quite strong to be honest I can do this in a hot day like today so pretty good coffee at our second stop which goes by the name of Deja Brew I really love the name and I like their concept because you know their slogan is coffee and art space so it's really nice for like creator like us photographer like him or any artist who want to you know have a co-working space and enjoy coffee at the same time so I don't think I have to say a lot about their coffee. Their coffee is quite popular here in Yangon. So yeah, I'm just gonna try it out and see how good it is. Cheers.
I was talking about the coffee and this guy just introduced his brand. They are, uh, it goes by the name of Bama Coffee and it looks pretty nice from Pien Uluin. 200 grams. 200 grams. biggest coffee supplier and they just started off their brand so yeah they are doing a lot of things it was quite interesting to talk to them as well so yeah it was nice they give us like a, a packet of their coffee I'm gonna try it out maybe we might get like a, some projects with it they they like what I, what we do right here so yeah might be drinking their coffee as a coffee review video uh, like separately so yeah anyway this place, Deja Fu, at uh, Deja Bru. I really love this place. Um, the coffee is top notch, and the price is on the. I think it's like a standard price, three dollar for like a cup of coffee. Uh, if you guys watch like the first episode, is the same as um, Avenue J and uh, Coffee, same price. Very much better coffee, to be honest. And yeah, I think this is one of my. This will be one of my favorite places to drink coffee. I like the space, I like the coffee, and the service here is amazing as well. So, yeah, all good. We're going off to another coffee shop to try out. coffee shop is quite an awesome place to just chill we didn't really have like their you know proper coffee it was more like a mocha something with chocolate because you know my heart is already like racing up so yeah I can't be having another coffee within like two hours but price wise it's the same it's around three dollars uh, USD and the whole place is very Japanese very zen they have like a sand garden at the back and it was a really nice place to chill we had like a really nice conversation me and my friend so yeah very nice place uh, you will love the place in terms of coffee I'm not really sure I'll try their coffee next time round so we're gonna head out to another place I'm gonna put this in my you know list of cafe to go to again so yeah I'm really happy with this place coffee classic and here is more like a restaurant because they have like a huge range of foods and yeah 
there's a lot of food and they don't just sell coffee like the, the three other cafe that we went to so yeah we did we do order some coffee and yeah we're gonna have dinner here as well so yeah and it's relatively cheap I think it's, it was like it's like one dollar one dollar for a coffee so yeah I don't know I don't know why is it so cheap but like the whole setup of this coffee place is just the same as you know all the other cafe they have like a espresso machine and also yeah I am I'm, I'm interested to try out their coffee and see what it tastes like Tastes just the same as the previous coffee shop. The coffee, the quality of the coffee itself is pretty good. Wow. Cornable. Yeah. And I have like a cha kui tiao, but it, it is not like you know it's not you know roasted, you know, like there's no like dark soy sauce like the cha kui tiao, but yeah, this is this is the dish that I have never tried. It's a classic Burmese dish. I think yeah, it's like a, one of the region, from one of the region in Myanmar. So I'm gonna try this out for my dinner. I'm not gonna be having it a lot because I'm on a very strict diet. He will be, he'll be <laughs> having it all. But yeah, I'll try it out. Mm, I think this is made with a fermented sauce. Some kind of fermented sauce. The noodle te texture is good, mm. but it is very, very oily. So, yeah, I can't have a lot of this at the moment. But it's a good dish. Cla classic Burmese uh, situation right here. Electricity just ran out. We have ordered our dishes, so we're gonna be eating like this with a flashlight on. And for our fifth and final stop for today, it's actually close. <laughs> so, yeah, I think we start off the day a little bit late, so the cafe is closed, so it's gonna be in the next episode. Them, there are a lot more cafes to you know share with you guys so yeah I think that's it for today I hope you guys like this kind of vlogs thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next vlog bye guys